uh, AI really scares me. Uh, without being funny, uh, if anyone's ever seen the Terminator movie, it's actually 2027 where the Terminator movie set three years from now. So let's just make sure that we're careful on how we're using AI, folks. Okay. We don't want to make sure that we end up in that kind of situation. Not saying that we will. Um, but look, there's just so much, so many things, moving components. Google's changing all the time, moving from UA to GA4. Sorry, we all hate it. Please go back to Universal Analytics, please. It's just an exciting time. Uh, it's an explosive time. If you're trying to get into digital marketing for the first time or looking for a career, digital marketing is where it's at. This is where you need to be. If you don't like a nine to five in the retail world in a shop, get into digital marketing because it's going to be a job for life. Having lived that life, I can vouch for that. Um, and then I guess what's what's something that really gets your gut right now in terms of marketing? Like so if you're a business owner and you just set up an e-commerce brand, like, you know, you just think to yourself, I need everything. I need social media. I need this. I need that. I need to do all of this, but I need to do it all for a hundred pounds. So for example, I spoke to someone this morning who came to TDF and uh, they're doing, and name it on names, but a luxury handbag company. And he's looking at content management, SEO, social media management. I was like, okay, what's your goal? I said, in the next three months, I'm going to ship 500 units of what I'm selling. Perfect. How many have you sold so far this year? I've been mean, active four months and sold 12. What have you been doing? Influencer marketing, micro ones. I was like, okay, fine. What do you want to spend in the next three months? It's like, okay, in the next three months, I really want to spend 5,000 pounds and I want to cover all of that. And I just said simply to him, sorry, mate, the chance in hell. So in realist terms, you're looking at between 50 to 100 pounds a day in spend. Then you got to pay agency fees, shipping fees, this and that and the other. I said, you, what you really need to do is go down to the bare basics. Get some user-generated content done. I'll introduce it to some, to, to, to some women I know. Uh, that are in that space because obviously I'm just going to make sure the demographic toned in on a 25 to 45 female. And he was happy with that. I did introduce with him. They've already set up the meeting and we'll see where it goes. But, but I know what your question was and the answer really is as simple as this, that don't expect the world. Small budget. If you're going to be a business owner, make sure you have some kind of budget to be actionable inside the market. £5,000 over three months to try and launch a luxury brand, I'd much rather that that individual would reel that back in, add on double the amount of money to make it work for them. Because there's nothing worse than taking a small budget and blasting through it, and therefore you're back to square one with no money. I think it's a hard decision for business owners because it's a bit of a black box. Let's be honest, marketing, there's so much, you know, we, we talk about marketing agency, but there are million different types of marketing agency, let alone technologies and infrastructures and things. And from the outside, it all kind of seems very simple, right? Like I get a website set up and somebody places some ads for my behalf and I pay them some money and then that goes out to people and people come and buy from me. And I think agencies themselves, a lot, there, there are some cheaper agencies out there um, that, that are kind of setting us up for failure in that regard as, as business owners because they're offering, oh, you know, the classic clickbait, you know, I see this all the time with sales companies. Yeah. I'll generate you 30 leads in 30 days, not a money guaranteed. Right. And that drives me wild. Because I get so many. I get so many of those a day. It's ridiculous. Right? And it's bad in a sense because I know people need to earn money, but like because one person has gone on and been semi successful, then you have another like 20, 30, 40, 50, you know, people in their early 20s. And I'm not knocking to try and start a business. I, I am for that. Fantastic. Well done. Like, you know, keep going. But don't come straight out of the university or from under a rock and start charging 50, 100, 200, 300 pounds in lead when you're a week old. You got to build yourself up. You got to make sure that you have proof of concept of that, what, of what you're delivering. You know, I'll give a quick example of that. So, uh, I consult for a lot of companies as well at the moment, as well as doing PDF. And in the background, someone said to me, right, in the next six weeks, I want you to deliver 10 tangible leads to me, Alan. I was like, okay, fine, not a problem. Challenge accepted. Anyone that knows me, I'm very, very, very competitive in regard to what I do. Uh, and by the end of six weeks, uh, I think I ended up on 46 instead of 10. Uh, and my point is, and I'm not trying to big myself up, by the way, my point is make sure that you can deliver and then some because it makes you look stronger in the market. If you are literally going out there from day one and ripping people off, you're going to blacklist yourself very, very, very quickly. 
very learn your trade under someone and then if you want to go alone after you created your black book cool do that but don't come out day one all guns blazing thinking that you're the bee's knees when you still haven't learned to walk yet it makes a very hard environment for for market agencies that do deliver to have a, a serious conversation with people and i've seen this lot like even my, you know, I work with a lot of marketers and up until recently, I had no idea how much SEO cost. You know, and, and I've, I've even, I've gone to my partners and gone, right, if I had some disposable income from the business and I could put, I don't know, 300 pound a month away, that's got to get me some results, right? And I go, ah, uh, no, no. Add a zero. Don't bother. Add you might as well zero. just go into the pub and spend it. All right, all right, okay. So what do I need to spend? Uh, add a zero. <laughs> Exactly. This is what I used to do as an analogy years ago at Google, right? So I used to say to a company, go, how many people work there? Like 20. Okay, 20 people. Do you all drink coffee? Actually, yeah, we do. Where'd you go? Starbucks. Brilliant. So how much you spend between you and Starbucks a week? I don't know. Probably like a grand. You're telling me that you spend a grand a week in Starbucks, four grand a month, 48,000 pounds a year, but you're not willing to spend the equivalent to target millions of people on Google. Do you see what's wrong with that? Give up copy for a year. I want to make sure that you make enough profit on the back of that 4J grant, Ben, that it pays the coffee and you get your money back and you make some profit. So these are part of the analogies that I used to use. Like, you know, where's the value from this? Well, where's the value from spending 20 pound a day on coffee? Where's the value from that? Oh, it keeps me going. Well, if you want to keep your business going, then stick a bit of, stick a bit of blue cash into it. I love that story. That's brilliant. That is a great analogy. I hope that helps bring it to life for some people. 